Hello Lancers, here's this week's edition of Lancers News. I'm Ray. And I'm Lila. Now to your announcement. Wednesday, June 12th will be the last day of school. We will end the year with an all-school mass. Remember to come dressed in your mass uniforms. Those who made honor roll will be recognized. Parents, remember there won't be any after-school daycare. A big congrats to our 8th grade class. The class of 2024 had a packed week, from trip to Disneyland, to the end of the year dance, to graduation. Here's Joseph with a look back at what our 8th grade class will miss most about their time here at St. Rose. It's been quiet on campus since the 8th graders left. Here is what they had to say about St. Rose. So, I'm here with Gracie Pacas. So Gracie, what is one thing you miss here at St. Rose? I'm gonna miss the community and just like the people here because over the years I've grown with the people here and they became they become my siblings and I'm just gonna miss everything. And I'm here with President Daniel Horn. So Daniel, in all your years here at St. Rose, what is one thing that you have learned? Uh, friendship and how to treat others right. I'm here with Marcos at the end. So Marco, what is one thing that you miss here at St. Rose? Here at St. Rose, I will miss a lot of things. But mostly, I love the St. Rose community because everyone's very supportive to each other. And just my teachers, you know, recess here with my friends. A congratulations to the class of 2024 for graduating. We'll miss you here at St. Rose. And I'm Joseph Dunlap with Lancer. Still looking for activities to do over the summer, St. Rose of Lima will have a number of camp options. Check the flyer for details. And now, here's Juliana with your weekend weather update. Expect warm weather this weekend here in San Diego. With temperatures reaching the mid to high 70s, it will be partly cloudy but no rain in the forecast. And now here are other stories making headlines. Mexico's first female president is promising to fight corruption. Claudia Scheinbaum is the projected winner of the election, which had the largest voter turnout in the country's history. Scheinbaum is from the same political party as the current Mexican president. Experts say she could have a big impact on border communities like San Diego specifically because of her background in environmental studies. Scheinbaum will be sworn into her six-year term on October 1st. Rubio's, a San Diego restaurant staple, is closing 13 San Diego locations due to the rising cost of doing business in California. The home of the original Fish Taco opened its first location in Pacific Beach in 1983 and has grown into over 100 locations in three states. Real Madrid defeated Dortmund on Saturday 2-0 to win their 15th Champions League title. Madrid's Vinicius Jr. won the Champions League Player of the Season after scoring six goals, including one in the final on Saturday. The NBA Finals are set with the Boston Celtics facing the Dallas Mavericks for a chance at the championship. The Celtics are up 2-0 in the series and will now head to Dallas looking to close out the series. Game 3 will start on Wednesday. From all of us here at Lancers News, thank you for watching this year's news. We look forward to reporting to you next year. See you next year.